Hey everyone. So I'm going to do a video on world quests that you can do, get some decent rewards, and some of the rewards you get are like relics and so on and so forth, which always have a chance uh, after you uh, get them to proc like epic level. Rare, they can be common, they can be rare, they can be epic. So we're going to open up our quest log, which opens up our math. And right now I'm working on the Wardens. And there's a reward. It says Wardens Field Kit. I don't know exactly what is in that field kit. But I want to go get it and see if it's got some cool stuff. Usually there's quite a, there's, you know, four or five different items. There could be artifact power. There could be artifact relic. There could be uh, a gear item. There could be some regent. So we're going to click, I'm sitting down. We're going to click on Broken Isles. Get a map here. And we're going to look for anything that has like a blue icon on it because that means it should be it should be doable by wardens. So I think that these are all regular world quests, but I don't think these are very specific to wardens. What exactly is this? Oh, raft fishing. So there's lots of different world quests. Like here's one for people who maybe are into fishing, want to get fish. Uh, fish food or just need to do it for the raids so there's one where you're going to get some rewards where you get some more crafting regions uh, here's one where you just slay one mob and this mob could be anywhere from a really difficult mob to a really easy mob I see that the reward is a common level artifact or uh, no artifact power so most likely that this is an easy mob for us to slay. Here's more artifact power. Whether or not you like it, you're going to be farming artifact power. And here's one where you have to kill a bunch of mobs and and work on progression to um, killing you know 100% of whatever is required to get the item. And here again, here's order resources. So garrison resources have been replaced with order resources and even though some players said well there's absolutely no way in the world they're gonna do their class hall um, missions but you're gonna need to do those missions because they reward a lot of artifact power as well as uh, their missions there you have to do to unlock your class hall stuff so you can unlock the third relic uh, relic slot in your artifact weapon you know, it's it's here's some more for art of uh, resources. Here's some for gold. Let's go over to high mountain. Yep. Oh, here we go. Here's a good one. So if you like retribution, here's a quest that has a reward to uh, give you a trinket that has 849 strength plus a random stat. And there's always a chance that this item, once you get rewarded, could proc an upgrade to being epic so I've seen that happen before let's see where yeah bag so I have a couple items for my retribution spec that I got from world quests and you see these all these all procced very good stats so they were uh, rare rewards and then they procced um, epic so those are not bad not bad and here's one a quest to uh, kill mobs. Here again is one that you have to kill a bunch of mobs, get the progression bar up to 100%. Saw it on here, Dale. Let's see, order resources, progression bar for more stuff. And this is a regular quest, so ignore that. <laughs> That's a quest I haven't finished yet. It's for my jewel crafting, and it's annoying, very annoying to me. Nightfall and yeah, Sinister Striker shot down. So most likely what this is, is you're going to sit in a vehicle and then you're going to shoot down mobs. So there are some quests that are really easy. You don't have to like fight mobs uh, hand to hand. You can get on, um, uh, get in a vehicle and then you just do stuff with the vehicle until you've done stuff. Let's see, where was that one that I was looking at with the really nice? 
All right, so we're going to go up to Shipwreck Cove, and I'm going to do that world quest for you so you can see what we get Greetings. there. So I've unlocked every single flight path. Till next week. Some of them are harder to get than others. And oh yeah, by the way, your Dalaran taxi is based on whatever you've checked as your favorite mounts in your mount panel. So I'm going to click on collections here. I'm going to click on mounts tab. And then whatever one that you have set as a favorite will become uh, a mount that is set for your taxis here in the Broken Isles. I don't know if that is uh, throughout the world or if it's just out here in the Broken Isles. So if you wanted to make this albino drake um, a favorite so you could have it available as a selection for uh, the Dalaran taxi. You just uh, right click, so I right click and then you set favorite and that'll add it to your list of favorite mounts. No, I don't care so I'm going to remove that. But I've already selected a whole bunch of favorites I have here. And as far as I can tell, it's only from Dalaran. So if you get on uh, any taxis anywhere in the world inside the Broken Isles, it'll always be whatever mount you see there. Uh, by the flight master you won't it won't use your own personal mounts But when you're coming from Dalaran, it'll pick whatever you have selected as your favorite So it has to be a flying mount. It's not going to pick a land mount that'll suddenly fly That would be ridiculous to see a Mushan beast flying. I just imagine what that would look like. Oh That would be so hilarious. I think I gotta do another video where I fly around every single zone and just go from from one flight master to another so you can see all the cool stuff that's going on out here and I'm gonna have to jack up my uh, my uh, video settings so you can see what this really looks like so you get an idea of what the world looks like if you're thinking about playing or if you have a bad computer and you have to play at the lowest settings I just jack it up so you can see what it looks like at the very highest settings so while we're also out here doing this quest I'll, you're gonna get to see kinda what uh, DPS is like for Holy Paladins it's decent it's not bad it's not gonna be as good as a DPS class but it's still decent damage and the fact that I'm holy, I get to keep myself alive easily if, if I get myself in trouble, pull too much stuff, accidentally pull a, a mob with a lot of health that hits hard. I've done that before. It's pretty nuts. Alright, we're almost there. Yeah, typically the the blue exclamation points are for whatever world quest faction type of quest that you're working on and I don't have any in my uh, in my uh, available out here so I don't know if this getting tougher will count for uh, filling out these the the warden's quest Ooh, I also have dream weavers what the heck Oh, nice. Okay. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see if this actually counts for uh, the requirement to fill out a quest for the wardens or the dream weavers. Oh, it says complete four world quests in Valshara. Okay, so my fail. I need to read the tooltip. So to get the Dreamweavers taken care of it needs to be a world quest so here's Valshara this is a world quest it's, oh it says wanted oh the wardens oh okay so this should fill out this so Thon Thondrax should fill out the requirement for a world quest for the wardens this Botanical Backlash should fill out the quest for Dreamweavers, so that's this one. And again, I I don't know what the what's going to be in that Dreamweaver provision bag. No idea. All right. Oh, okay. So 
I clicked on it, you can see that it highlights. There's a little highlight. I'm going to click off. So if you watch this one, uh, I'm going to click on this, and now it highlights. So you can see this little bit of highlighting around it that lets you know that these are the quests that would fulfill the requirement for the Dreamweaver World Quest so you can complete it and get this reward, which will have lots of cool stuff. Okay, so let's see. All right, so this quest up here is not a world quest, but it still has a reward for a trinket. So we're going to we're going to go do it and get that trinket, and then I'm going to go over to Valshara and do a quick world quest there for you. So hold on here. I just you know I brought you all the way out here to see this stupid trinket. Let's go. Let's go get this stupid trinket so you can ah, I'm in the wrong mount, aren't I? So you could see a little arrow letting me know where it is, the direction I need to go to get to the quest, the world quest area. Is that up there? No, I could go around this mountain. Yeah, to get there, all I'm going to do is you have to click on the item, and then it should appear up here for where it's for where you need to go to get to it. So if I wanted to find out how to get this one. So if I want to find out how to get this one, I click it, and you, then you see my arrow up there changed. So I'm going to click this again, and it's showing, okay, here it is. These little yellowish kind of outline highlight things here are the area that you need to go in order to uh, get this all done. Okay, we need tougher fish and great slime weed. All right. Let's see if I can get around this guy. Oh, this tougher fish over here. Uh oh, got incoming. Ta -da. Artifact power, nice. So yeah, mobs can drop nice stuff like that. Am I even attacking it? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't close enough. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's see what happens when we do March of the Murlocs. Okay. I can't swim down. Damn it. Here you go, lots of murlocs. And they're not hitting him. Oh, what in the world? Oh, I gotta attack one that's at the surface. I just hit something there. <laughs> okay, there's a little bit of an issue here with how this works. I can't swim down or anything. All right. No worries. We are getting something done. We just got to find some somebody who's on the surface. There we go. A little closer to the surface that I could attack. It's all good. Alright, yeah, I don't have to collect anything. I just have to attack, attack them and kill them. Okay, Murlocs. No. No. There they go. Alright, that didn't work. You go on land and, and, I'll, and I'll do it again for you. Oh, Attack one of those clackers. Or snappers. Yeah, they hit hard. Oh, there we go. All right, I just run over it. Murlocs. 
Alright. That's a lot of damage. So just run over the item. Coming. Uh oh, lots of incoming. Murlocs! Take this. Take that. Murlocs! No, I click it. Alright. We're almost done. Some are really easy. I mean, this is very easy. Some of them are a bigger challenge. Ta da! Become. Brian Claw. Alright. Come here, Brian Claw. Oh, nuts. Alright, popping everything. Alright, he's down. Oh. Bubbled my <laughs> just bubbled myself. Didn't mean to do that. Relax. Did it! We won! There we go. Now we got the charm in a bag. It's got a critical strike. Alright, well that's something. Didn't didn't get a good proc. We got some nice procs on these, but this one didn't. But that's fine. There you go. So that's one item. Plus I got artifact power. Make sure you have the weapon that you want that artifact power on equipped. I accidentally did it when I was running around retribution and then I added artifact power to my ret. And if you've watched my video on artifact power that I did post recently you're gonna see that uh, we're gonna need a lot of artifact power. A lot of artifact power. Okay I'm sorry I don't know what the quest was to get this to get this whistle but this is so sweet flight message whistle use Requ request on pickup to the nearest flight master only usable in broken aisles five minute cooldown watch this watch this I don't have to run through mobs to get to uh, to get to a taxi so I can fly out to Valshara and I'll do a world quest there I should go finish yeah we're gonna this video is gonna be a little bit long but we're gonna go do um, Yeah, we're going to do, see, we got the Wardens. This is the Wardens. So we got to get out to Starsong Refuge. And hopefully that mob is not a, a big mob that's going to kill me. There we go. See you around. All right. I hope you don't mind the uncut videos. I do have software where I can cut it so we can skip through taxi cab stuff like this but it's a bit of work to get that done and then I'm not playing the game because I'm editing it. So I apologize. If I were a professional YouTuber if I did this for a living then I would definitely be I would definitely edit this stuff. So you can just get, so you can see the video when we're uh, working on this world quest. And it says world quest up here in case you're not sure. If you select it, it'll show up here as a world quest. Now I've had some quests, we've well, seen some of my videos, I have quests where it goes all the way down, like all the way behind my name. I have tons of them. If you ever want to not see a world quest, not to see a quest, to untrack it, you can just right click and you can do stop tracking. Or you can click on it, pop open, and click it on the name, pop open the log, and then click on on track. And if you want to abandon, you can abandon it. 
the cool thing about these world about uh, the way leveling works out and how the leveling goes up based on the, the zone level mobs and everything rewards go up based on whatever your level is is now you don't have to remove a quest that is a very low level quest that has like worthless rewards aren't worth it aren't worth uh, keeping or finishing you can keep that in your log and then the reward will scale to be better all right we're gonna go find this guy and we're gonna find out if this if this is this guy's gonna kick my butt or not but did I just say butter I think I just said butter a prize for the wish shall mother. survive yeah sometimes I get knocked off my mouth ah. all damage the wardens have pledged to bring justice to this world. There you go. But That's how you know you're everywhere. in the end. We offer you the honor of right. taking down a grave threat. Uh. The heck is that? That's not the mob, is it? No, it's not. All right, not too bad. All right, let's get damage numbers up so you can kind of see what it looks like. Oh, somebody's already attacking. All right, I'll just throw down. Stun that or hammer it. Yeah, I think this mob would have been very easy for me to solo. Some mobs you absolutely gotta you gotta get a party for because the mob is going to kill you. You gotta have a tank, you gotta have some DPS, and you got a healer. And there are some mobs that are so bad, you need two healers. It is that bad. But I don't mean bad like we will bad. not I forget mean... your aid this day, champion. Ooh. The wardens are in your debt. Okay, I got promise of rebirth. Yep. There you go. Lyodon has a 20% chance to cast a second time for no additional mana cost. Let's loot him. Okay, I'm going to move out of here so I don't... Yeah, I'm going to call my whistle. So, I'm going to end up at the nearest Flight Master, which will be Starsong here. So, we'll just hold on. And then you'll see me appear here in a moment. Black. There I am. Star Song Refuge right there. Right where I thought it said I would. Alright, and we got three of them done. Let's go do uh, one more. <laughs> I can hear that in the background. That's definitely not one of them. Wardens. Okay. That's Wardens. Looks pretty easy. Illidari stand. Okay, take me to Illidari. Illidari. Yeah, that's not too bad. Take a look at that. So that's the same second sunrise. And all that is telling us is now that when we use this based on what we already have in the socket that the Lyodon has a 20% chance, which is what it says it does have here. But if you look at this item, this is a common item. So the item level to my weapon, which is increasing the stats on this item, uh, it's, it's only based on 23 item levels above the 750. Whereas this one is now 36 item levels. So we're gonna get a plus of 13 item levels to the silver land the silver hand did I just say the silver land silver hand and that'll put me over an item level of 800 when I go to uh, to the artifact uh, back to uh, my class all and and add that to the artifact you're almost done I'm just gonna finish off kill this one mob and then the turn in should give us the automatic no will it give us an automatic reward or am I going to have to 
A as you see, we got the reward in our bag right away when we finished that quest. We didn't have to go find um, uh, an NPC to turn it in. It just gave it to us. I can't remember if that's what happens once you finish this total, once you finish these world quests, do I have to go find uh, a warden NPC to turn this in or will it just appear in my bag? But I do know that once we finish this, it will appear just in my bag. <clears throat> Excuse me. Need a little more water. All right. So I find that the water strider, any, any mount that you have that's uh, a water mount is imperative just because like I want to get past all this stuff. I don't want to attack mobs at this point. This, I don't need experience or you know any of that other stuff. I don't need to worry about leveling. I just want to go get to the quest and, and get start doing all the quests and things that I want to get done done. And I want to pass by mobs because I'm 110. I'm not going to get any more experience from them. And the Water Strider one gives us uh, it's a fast mount can't fly show them how we deliver justice all right let's go get this guy I'm gonna stop for him because he's a rare elite he's got a lot of health uh oh there we go give you a little heal don't forget to show don't forget to say thank you no nope, you're gonna get stunned forget that stuff go keep throwing throw out some heals for that mage he's getting a little he's getting a little knocked up a little knocked up that's not the right thing all right I can stand in front of him I'm a paladin I can take it I can take it I can take it I can dish it there you go he's almost healed up we will not forget your aid this day champion the wardens are in your debt. Oh, that was the mob. <laughs> that, was the, that was the mob for the quest. So you see there, that guy was really easy. This guy, I'm, let's see. All right. Here's one for the warden. Even though I did finish this. Okay, the wardens. You see here. I have to go turn this in over here at this uh, flight master. The warrants turn in this item and then I will get the, the goodies reward. But here's an example. You see uh, exclamation point plus this, this uh, gold dragon. The mob that's in here is going to hit hard. This is going to be a tough mob. You're going to need a group to do this one. Otherwise, you're probably going to get one shot. I mean, we could go over there and I could get one shot for you just so you could laugh. But I already know that's going to happen. And you're wondering, well, how do we do it then? Okay, well, I'm going to show you how you do it here in just a moment. I'm not going to act. I don't think... Well, maybe I could go over there with a the group. Ah, if I brought you this far, I might as well. Okay, so we got to go over to uh, what's whatever this is called. Okay, Oceanist Grove. Grove. Lord Illidan knows the way. Warden's Redoubt. Death to All the right, Legion. Alright, I'm assuming that Warden's Redoubt is it. Oh, artifact power. Yep. Gotta have that artifact power, man. Gotta have it. Every artifact power you get, you gotta get. Because you're gonna need an excruciatingly high number of artifact power to unlock every trait of your artifact weapon and I'm sure that the reason why it's uh, designed that way by Blizzard is so that we spend the whole expansion or at least a tremendous amount of time for those players who want to commit that amount of time well that's a pet alright here we go horns Nice, lots of artifact power. Okay, so I'm gonna use that, use that, and now we're gonna open this. Oh, it's just 780 gold. Okay, so this one didn't turn out to have <laughs> any items in it. Alright, so this quest, danger, chief treasure, uh, 
ja Jabril. Ch yeah. Chief Treasurer. Okay, so I'm going to open up um, a group to look for a group. So I'm going to click on I to get up on Dungeons and Raid panel. We're going to go for pre made group. We're going to click on questing. We're going to go see if there's a whole bunch of people are doing stuff like Tide. Sea King Tydros, you gotta have a five player group and you gotta know how to do that boss. Alright, there we go. They already got a healer. I must sign up as a healer. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to take our mount to get there. Again, you're go you're gonna need this. You're gonna need a water. Water walking mount, just because ah no. For stuff like this. There's also you can also walk aground, but the problem is you, when you're walking through the area, you're gonna have to deal with uh, mobs and everything. And some of these areas they have 110 elites that are tough, tough to try to, even to try to solo. All right, so I've already clicked on that. So the quest item shows up over here. So we got three healers in this group because those little blue little square up here means means healer. Oh, this must be my tank. Yeah. Let's see, there's a mob up there, the muscle. So this is a rare mob up there. I'm not worried about that. I could always come back and see if I can get him. Yep, yeah, watch out where you're going. There are going to be mobs along the shoreline and everything. Our enemies outnumber us. There we go. Now we, we know we're in the right spot. Skills. Okay, Chief Trailer. Okay, who's. Is this my tank? Yep. Yep, lots of health on him. Let's see what he does. So far, so good. I don't know. Maybe I'll just stand with the group. Oh, they're PB, PvP flagged. Shoot. Okay, I hate doing it. Enable. All right, there we go. Now I can heal the, the dude that's PVP flagged. I don't like it. Don't like flagging. Yeah, this is going very easy. Okay, so this is a little too easy. But that side, that Sea King, I, I did them the other day. And there are mechanics that you have to watch out for. That if you uh, don't do them. The Sea King will two shot you. And then I guess this might be a, a boss where you want to have an extra group just because there's so much health on it, it's going to take forever. And also, I'm going to be willing to get to guess that even though the boss doesn't hit very hard, as you can see. Um, there is going to be substantial amounts of healing that will need to be done. And you definitely need to have a group where you have a healer who can just, I mean, it's very easy. This well is struck. Very Like a easy. true warden. All right. All right. We're out of here. Disable. Yep. Okay, I think that's that's that. So I got some gold. Yeah, I think I just got some gold. That's all I got. All right, nothing special. No biggie. No biggie. This is so nice. This is so sweet, man. This is such a cool thing. If we're not going to be able to fly 
for a large portion of the expansion. That that freaking mount whistle. That's that's boss blizz. That's such a good job. That makes me feel a little better. You're not gonna be able to get that until right around 110. I don't know what quests I needed to do to get on this. And now that I'm flagged, you're like, oh, now you gotta be flagged. Now you're gonna get owned every time you find a, a hordy. So you just have to get on a mount and uh -huh. fly to another mount to clear it. Damn so not. there we go. I just got an amount and it just cleared the PVP flag. It's just gonna take me a couple minutes to fly to another to the next flight path and I'm unflagged now ta-da magic all right so this is 35 minutes long I hope we've uh, given you uh, introduction to world quests and what you need to do how to find them how to complete them so now for Dreamweavers see these aren't available for a couple of days just mouse mouse over and read the tool tips are you know Go up here, click the breadcrumb to kind of look in what errors are areas there might be quests. I don't see anything highlighted, but you can also mount or mouse over them to see if the tooltip says anything. These all say how high mountain tribe, so it is possible that high mountain tribe could be tomorrow's emissary or in two days. Click tooltip or uh, or the breadcrumb up here. Go down here, see. If Valajar, these are all Valajar stuff. There's going to be more quests tomorrow. Even after I cleared it, I could swear that every that this quest was not here. So as soon as I killed that uh, chief chief treasurer, uh, whatever whatever its name was, that a new quest pops up in here. So even after you finish your world quest, there will always be more world quests. So you have that option of keep doing world quests keep looking for rewards for getting order resources for getting gold or for getting like uh, artifact power or maybe you can get uh, a cool a cool drop or something like that so if I'm going to do the dream weavers you see everything here is highlighted almost everything is here it's got this highlight going around here that lets you know that this is dream weaver also the tool tip right here mouse over tool tip is going to tell you that this is uh, what you're going to need to do to get this provision and yeah that last provision only gave me gold but they give you other things too so don't let that make you think that it's uh it's you know gold and it's like who wants gold no not too many people but you'll get you'll get other stuff all right that's it 37 minutes long i hope this has helped you out understand world quest and i'll see you in the next video later dudes